That's it for us here at Rocket Lads. We'll see you on the pitch. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another awesome, awesome match with Rocket Lads. 
season three. We cannot wait. I am Phoenix here to join you. It's been nice to be back in the booth as well since uh, it's been a while since I casted. Of course, I got with me Patty. First time casting with you, Patty. How's it going, man? Good, good. How's it going with you, Phoenix? Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, it, you know, it is. It feels comfortable. It's ha- I'm happy to be back. Unfortunately, my work schedule hasn't allowed me much time to be back in the booth, but uh, I got to say, it, man, the casters around here have been stepping up. We got some awesome crews. I've, yeah. I've just been able to listen, you know? A lot of new ones coming in. Nice to see. Nice to see. Yeah, yeah, very, very cool. So uh, looking forward to being with you tonight, though, casting. So I'll be your play-by-play guy. And uh, we got we got Patty here doing some color commentary tonight, which is going to be outstanding, as always, I'm sure. So who do we got tonight? We're not uh, – we, we haven't been are, – are they dragging us right in yet or what? I saw someone join, but I think they got out quick enough. Uh, tonight we're looking at uh, Gold Diggers versus Ender Boys. Gold Digger versus Enderboy. Now, I know that we're just getting right into DFH Stadium, but as we jump in, oh, they've started, but we're going to have to restart this. Looks like Gold Diggers is missing a player. Yeah, Salty Uh, wasn't ready. So this is going to be coming back. And anyway, you have an interesting stat we talked about kind of in the green room here before the game. What was that with these two teams? Yeah, so we're, I don't know what's going on with this game, but we're going to be looking at the fact that James is number one in the league for demos per game average. And Gold Diggers are number one for taking demos, so this might be a nice matchup for James. I like that. I like that. So we got our production team in our ear. Are they just going to play this on? Both teams were pretty happy with that. Okay, looks like no one's complained anyway, so hey, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. So we're going to get you right (laughs) into the action. It is Gold Diggers versus Enderboys as Nemzi of Enderboys takes a nice little shot there. James able to corral that and gets an opportunity to net and streak there, and it's 1-0 at the 4 minutes and 15 second mark. Yeah, Nemzi just gets a nice hit out over there. James comes in, bops it off the wall, and bang, right over the rest of the team. Salty in a bad spot, and that's another goal. That's eight yeah, goals. Yeah, defensively, I don't really think they've seen that coming as quick as they did. Nice pressure by Ence James for sure, as we got Ence James back for a faceoff against Zane and wins in, in an awkward 50 split, which puts Nemzi in a chance to drop this out in front of the net. And right Ooh. there is Tal to try and scoop up some of the leftovers, but this one's going to come back out into the ender zone. James gets a little touch on it as Nemzi doesn't trust what's going on there and gets the clear. Doubling up in that far right-hand corner as James apologizing for a bit of a misplay there. So we see him, we see a bit of a cue, little miscue here, and hopefully this isn't going to result in too much as they're back the field. And Talf's up! Talf is up for an aerial. Ooh. Can you believe that, Patty? I can't. Uh, <laughs> I've been pl- seeing Talf play a little bit today. I was practicing with him, helping him get warmed up, and he's looking pretty good. Go and Anth- James with an over the top says, I'm not sure if I want to wait for you to score this, and bam, 2 nothing. Beautiful. Nemzi over there to James. These two are really clicking, which is something we haven't been seeing from these two uh, consistently, but they seem to be getting their team play on very strong uh, at the beginning of this matchup. Yeah, for those of you who are following along, as you know, most of these players are in comms together, but just situationally, this team, Enderboys, can't be in comms. Two of them can, one cannot. Uh, so they have to work past that. So right off the bat, it's a challenge for, for some of them there, not being able to call their shots and whatnot. So when you see them come together like this, get out to a, a 2 nothing lead in two minutes into this match. It's fantastic. Make that 3 nothing as the captain has taken the team on his back, and that is a hat trick. Goal! Watching the beginning of this game, you almost forget that Ender Boys are the underdogs in this matchup. They are not expected to be beating Gold Diggers at all, let alone 3-0 with three minutes left. Yeah, they are out to a huge start, and that is 100% shooting percentage for James here, who's going three for three, and all three coming off a Nemzi assist, who's got three shots himself, so uh, nice to see them putting this all together here. Salty makes an opportunity to get on the board here. Got to see a little bit more uh, from Gold Diggers. They got to dig themselves out of this hole. Never mind going for goals. Let's go for some solid play as Potato is going to put this back into the zone. Has a nice opportunity, but it's off the post. Salty gets a nice touch there, and Tal's going to get a clear. Playing into the neutral zone is Tal. Oh, one guy beat, two guy beat, just one no more boost. time. Just gotta get He's a got touch. no boost. Oh, and gets deeped out by the pressure alone, and can't get a shot on that, and no boost didn't help, as Patty mentioned, absolutely, as Nemzi's going to put this back in for a nice little drop, and James looking for the quad, and can't pull the trigger on that one. James going to retreat back into the ender zone. Zane Wolf with some pressure. Salty jumps up to try and take an unexpected shot. Potato's going to have to be back for a clear. 
Pressured big by James into the left-hand corner. They got it in the Gold Digger zone. Nice little pass out front. Salty's up front. That doesn't get much shot there. And it's out to Nemzi. You can't get a shot. And it's up off the crossbar. Not even close, really. Off the backboard, we'll say. And they can't get a clear. It's up to Talv. And he puts it back out to center. Zane follows up quickly. And Nemzi shadows him. And he just blows that play there. As he probably seen Nemzi coming in for a demo. And it makes you a little bit nervous coming in on those, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and James in there. It is with the fourth for James. Gold wow. Diggers, where are you? They are looking really bad right now. Their rotations are almost non-existent. They are all in the same area. Salty yeah. just looks lost. Yeah, I gotta say, uh, I'm seeing the same things. Really no rotation, no awareness of where the rest of their teammates are early uh, in this one. Uh, they, yeah, they're getting... Uh, we're getting beat down. Oh, James, <laughs> right now, we're can we about. go for five? And Talf's going to try and keep this play alive. He, as Nemzi puts it back out front, Talf going for a demo, and he can't get it done. The ball doesn't come out anyway. There's James. He's back again. Puts it over into the corner, and Zane's going to get a semi clear. Oh, and does. One man to beat, and Zane's going to have to pop this hard off the wall, see if he can post it out front, and can't. James, one-on-one. -on -one. Nemzi's going to put it right back up, who James never left and just kind of stayed in situationally. Salty gonna get it clear to the right hand side. And James back to center. Needs some help on this one, and no one's there to take the shot. Talf arrives super late on this one, but a nice good presence there, even to be in the zone at that time. Nemzi with a shot. Potato's gotta get it on. Falls on his hood as he gets uh, clear. That's not gonna work out. James there! Doesn't need it. Nemzi scores, and it's five to nothing. Again, there's no uh, no one back post. Uh I don't think Dark Potato knew that he was last man back uh, salty was way up in the other end trying to come back uh, for rotation oh as the pressure seeing. mounts yeah the, the and the pressure not only to score but the pressure in game from ender boys is relentless right now is there nine shots to two with 39 seconds here on the clock they're clearly going to take game one and and how in an yeah. amazing fashion as salty's trying to stop them from putting six up on him here this is not the salty that we have seen up until now uh, Salty is actually number one in the entire league for shots on goal per game. And we're seeing, what, he's got one shot? Yeah, one shot. That is not, that's not the same Salty that we've been seeing up until now. And his team really needs him, his team needs him to step up because he is the best player on his team and he needs to be scoring more goals than, than zero. <laughs> Yeah, just even getting some better quality attempts. And James is going to go over another one here. But Nemzi is going to take it, and that's six to nothing. Six to nothing. 11 shots, six goals. Unbelievable. James and Nemzi are popping off. If they can keep this going, this could be a 3 0. They are playing better than I have ever seen them. Yeah, this is the combination that I was saying earlier. I, I kind of picked these guys as a bit of a dark horse uh, team for me. I really like because I played against them earlier on in the season. Um, just as a scrim and I thought actually even before game one started and I thought wow this team is amazing they've got some chemistry but I'll admit up until now we haven't really seen this chemistry you know pay off dividends for them in game but we're de we are definitely seeing it tonight yeah yeah we are seeing uh some really great passing plays uh I mean we have Nemzi four assists on all four of James's goals uh both players have five shots uh, they've had to make a couple saves, but honestly, there was only two shots put on. They saved both of them. Uh, yeah, so. yeah not a, there wasn't a lot asked of them. And that's what led me to my next question. I'll get your thought on this. You know, we say Salty needs to get more involved. Is it that he's just not rotationally being in good offensive positions to, to have an opportunity, like a quality opportunity for a shot? Or is the ender boy pressure just too much? Are they just not allowing them anything? I, I mean, in the neutral zone, I, I don't know how often. I think maybe twice I even seen... Um, I even seen gold diggers playing in, in the ender boy zone. Yeah, I think it's, it's really hard to say because honestly, the gold diggers seem so out of sorts, so kind of lost in their own game that mm. it's hard to say whether it's actually ender boys just putting so much pressure on or not. But I, I will say that in the previous matches, so gold diggers have played once or twice before they're one and one. Uh, they lost against the best team in the league, but we're able to take them to game five. Right, But even throughout all those games, Gold Diggers were not a rotationally strong team. It was Salty, and with, with Darth Potato as well, he's a, he's a strong second man. Um, but it was mostly Salty. We would see Salty with scores like 7, 8, 900. 
uh, with Darth Vader having a couple hundred, and then you know Zane sitting at the bottom as the third man. Uh, nothing against Zane. <laughs> just yeah, I, 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 yeah, I completely agree with you there. I, one thing I noticed too is. Uh, salty is best up on the walls. Uh, every time I've played against him, he, his strength is when he's up on the walls, putting the, the pass out to center, or maybe an aerial dribble off the walls. But we haven't even seen Gold Diggers able to get the ball off the ground much. Uh, not like nemsey has been carrying the ball off the wall, putting out to center for Ant James, and vice versa. We've seen them get aerial quite a bit. Haven't seen it from yeah. Gold Diggers. Need to see them get up off the ground a little bit because that is not their strength. And, uh, and certainly it's not providing Salty with enough, enough opportunities to be the player they need him to be. I agree. I think he just hasn't been able to... I think the pressure on Enderboy has just made it really difficult for him to play the game that he wants to play without some more backup from his team. Hopefully we'll see it this game. Yeah, here we are in game two, and right off the bat, the pressure again as James is going to oh. put this one in. Talf, Talf just needs to pull the trigger oh. and can. <laughs> Nemzi gave him every opportunity to go get it, son, but no. Uh, he, he couldn't get it done, but Nemzi's going to put this in for one nothing. Yeah, and uh, not looking good uh, if you're a Gold Digger fan because this game is looking... Pretty much exactly the same as we saw in last game. Early goal with 14 seconds, and they've already scored one. Yeah, and defensively, you know, James gets a chance at that. Can't. It's wide open for Talf. And if Talf scores that goal, I mean, hey, not a whole lot of that uh, that goal diggers could have done. But when Talf whiffed on that, there should have been no opportunity for Nemzi to come in. That should have been long cleared and wasn't. So once again, you know, some rotational issues as James brings this back into the corner for another attempt. And it's just sitting <laughs> wide over and oh. Salty with a nice backflip save. And I got to hand it to that one. That was pretty. Maybe that's what they need to get this going. Salty all alone. If he can hurry up and get this done, two guys get back, but he's still going to get it. And he's going to eat it up one to one with a Salty solo effort. And that's what we were looking for. Yeah, look at this patience by Salty. He only has 15 boosts, but Nemzi and James, they don't know that. And he's able to use all 15 of that boost to just put it high enough to get that goal. Man, hoping to inspire his team. Uh, you know, that's just heroic effort along the wall and in front. Two guys to beat after he couldn't get that aerial and gets it done. So it's one to one. And this looking good as Potato gets a, a much needed clear and a very dangerous goal. And if James is up off the backboard, Nemzi there to follow it up with some pressure. This is going to get cleared by Potato. Tal's going to challenge and can't. It's a three on one right now. It's Potato gains his own. It's in the left-hand side of the Ender Boys. Needs to pop it out of center and a whiff, and this is going to fall. Salty's going to take over as Nemzi pushes it out to the middle. Zane, a nice little pressured mid there. And not, not something you see Zane do often is turn around and challenge mid, uh, but nice to see him get a little bit more involved offensively there. Yeah, and we're seeing uh, some nice defensive play by Salty. He's made two uh, really clutch saves already in this game to keep it tied. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh, Salty oh, holds with a chance there of the post and a big clear there by James. And this one's going to try and rip down the right-hand side. Oh, going for the demo. We're seeing more demos. Carrying the ball, yeah. Well, hey, who did you say was number one demos in the league? Uh, that's right. It's James, and uh, that's the third James. demo of this series. It's only and chalk up another victim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, uh, he's really going for that back role. And in, and it is two to one. Now, I didn't really see the play Ooh. develop. Did you catch how this came out? Let's have a look. I think he just kind of popped it off the top of James, and uh, Nemzi was in a really bad spot to make that save. Unfortunate. So the first little glimpse of maybe some defensive breakdown, as we've seen from otherwise flawless Enderboy up until the almost halfway mark of game two. If you're just joining us, this is a best of five series with Enderboys up one to nothing, and it's two to one in this one in favor of Gold Diggers. Nemsey yeah. and James working down the left-hand side. Nemsey's waiting up front for that pass, and he likes to come back now and try and recenter. His Talf's going to probably put this back in the zone and can't. Uh oh, we got this salty alone. Goal. This one's going straight in, and it's three to one. Oh, really hurt to see uh, Telf. He's been playing so well, and he's just uh, he's just letting the letting the nerves, good old Rocket Lad nerves, get to him. Really not making any contact with the ball, and kind of leaves his team high and dry there. Unfortunate. Yeah, and you know, hey, and one thing I don't like to see is we got Zane Wolf in here on the Twitch chat, middle of a game. You know, and it's good message and encouraging his team. Oh, that's his mom. Oh, wait, Zane Wolf's mom. Hey, welcome to the stream, Zane Wolf's mom. I it's totally apologize. Oh, I'm it's grounded. okay, everyone. Grounded. Phoenix can read. Uh, he just chose not to. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, yes. That's awesome that she's here. Hey, how's it going? 
<laughs> I love the oh, support. No. I love the support from parents. Okay, here we go with three, three to one. Two minutes left. This game's still wide open. As Nemzi's going to put this off into the corner, try and get a double touch out front to Tauf. Oh, Tauf leaves early. And James uh, kind of wanted to bite on that and decides he's going to get back and play some some defense a little bit early. And a, a great decision to do that as Nemzi needs to get a flick up over Zane and camp. Zane's going to stay back, play some defense. James in the corner. He's going to try and work this. He's got Zane to beat and Salty in the net. That's popped up. Nemzi needs to get up and get some air, but Salty's going to get a clear. Talf and Nemzi, as you see there, a little bit of mistrust here, here coming from the Ender Boys. Talf's been yeah. positionally pretty good. Been in a couple of great opportunities and starting to see a few doubles from the Ender Boys, if you're seeing the same thing I am, Patty. Yeah, and we've seen that a lot in their games. Uh, Nemzi does not trust Talf. And when it comes to, you know, important scoring chances or important saves, he is going to double with him, like, almost 100% of the time. Yeah, and again, with... Yeah, and with the lack of comms to it, being able to say, look, hey, I nice got a nice boom James. there by Ants Jane. <clears throat> nice demo. One minute left. Got to get something moving here if you're the Ender Boys. Nemzi's going to try and take this up the left-hand side. He's got some room. He's up on the wall. Here's the pass out front. Nice nice one off the backwards and salty there to get a little chip to the left-hand side and out to safety. <clears throat> a good dunk on Nemzi to keep this play out of danger as they're going to jostle for it here in the neutral zone. Nemzi back to play against Potato and Salty. Nice clear. Talf to push this up. Gets a great off the wall, just, pardon me, off the turf, just one bounce clear. And it's flailing around with anybody, opportunity to have a shot here with 20 seconds left. Oh, one got a beat and Talf just stuffed Salty. Excellent, excellent play, especially being last man back with all that pressure. And he stops him from putting this up to four to one. Nine seconds remaining. Nemzi's gonna play this one up off the wall and likely this is gonna be about it as it comes out front though and oh, oh and a huge save by Tal a huge save by Tal to keep this. I mean we're hyping for them, but they they do fall in this one, three to one. But wow, what a yeah. save off of Zane there right at the end. And look at I mean, just like I said at the end of game one, Salty. Uh, number one in the league for shots, number two in the league for goals. Wasn't really showing that in game one. Here in game two, four shots on net, three goals, two saves. He was everywhere his team needed him to be to put them on his back and just carry them to victory. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, we've seen uh, we've seen this time and time again. You know, we as everyone knows, these teams are broken up pretty evenly in, in terms of MMR or, or overall skill. If you're not a Rocket League player, that's what... Our MMR kind of dictates your overall ability in the game. So there are players on each one of these teams that need to step up and kind of be that sniper, that, uh, you know, that <clears throat> a lead man. And Salty is in that position. So nice to see him come up and get a big score here. And James yeah. and, and Nemzi doing their thing too respectfully, but a little bit a little bit more subdued. Why do you think we've seen a little bit less from Ender Boys this match? Was it just their gameplay or Gold Diggers rising to the challenge? I'm not sure. I was seeing quite a few. Uh, oh, it looks like we have server going down to maintenance. Uh, we we're having quite a few triple commits on their team. I felt like their rotations weren't as good. Um, I feel like maybe the Ender Boys rotations kind of broke down because Salty was able to put more pressure on them. Uh, mm. and so they weren't able to really get the great passing plays they were doing in game one. Salty was in really great defensive positions to block passes. Yeah. Uh, save shots and i think that really kind of just threw them for a loop as well yeah you've seen a big change in game one with uh, particularly salties but I, I guess i will say all the the uh, gold diggers their rotations allowed them an opportunity to make little saves and you know they weren't making dynamic saves right they weren't have to into supersonic boost no. up into the you know to clear something off the backboard it was just those easy ones and a lot of those goals yeah. <clears throat> that they were able to put in enter boys in game one that is um very savable situations if they just had enough defensive prowess to be in the positions that they needed to be in. And well, that, we saw in yeah. game two, Salty getting that done. That was just it. And, Whenever they took a shot in game one, sorry, cut you off, but uh, well, they, there was no one back post. They were, a lot of times they were exactly. front post or in the middle of the net and just not... Yeah, so they were able to get an, uh, able to do that. So, you know, the little things that they've been... Oh, pardon me, i got to get back in this match. So the little things that they were able to do made a huge difference in their overall results. Uh, yeah. And now what I really feel like, and I'll see if you agree, is now that the big guns are firing for both teams, uh, mm -hmm. let's see what Talth and Zane can do to chip in. And I feel like that's going to be a big difference in Game 3 here. 
Yeah. Um, as now we got Basalti, Potato, and James Nemzi stepping up and doing what they're going to do. Uh, it's going to really come down to who can get the most solid hit between Zane and Talf, chipping where they can, get those clears, get those saves, and provide their, uh, you know, their stars an opportunity to make big plays. Yeah, I agree. And I noticed that Telf was playing quite a bit stronger near the end. He was looking shaky game one, the first part of game two. But in game uh, at the end of game two, he was able to get some nice stuffs on Salty. And hopefully we can see that continue here in game three. Now, that was the best play I've seen from Zane Wolf in this season. Oh, my goodness. And almost results in a goal is he got right up, just right high to get a nice clear off of the Gold Digger backboard and put Salty out for an almost certain goal. Unfortunately, he, he rings one off the crossbar, the dreaded crossbar. and doesn't No, Nemzi saved it. Oh, Nemzi came saved across oh. the net and popped it off the crossbar. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, so what a great play, though, uh, not only by Nemzi, but Zane Wolf in setting that up. So so right off the bat, here we go. That's what we talked about. Those third guys contributing where they can contribute. And uh, Zane Wolf, he, I don't know if he heard us, but, <laughs> you know, maybe his mom's texting him. Hey, you need to yeah. be, <laughs> be better. You're out of the will if you don't Jeez. be better. <laughs> nice. Oh, and his dad. Oh, hey, Trevor. How's it going? They're just ye they're yelling from the other room. <laughs> oh, good. That is fantastic. I love it. As Nemzi got an opportunity for a little drop goal here and nothing to save there as that sails off to the left-hand side. No danger. James keeps this play alive. Needs to get a second touch and can. Salty's going to rip this one. Thought Potato would go with him there on a two-on-one. Doesn't see it and he likes to go back for boost. Salty getting a little fancy there and just squeezes it towards the net and off the post and that looked good. It, it almost had everybody landlocked as there was at least one, if not two, and the boys sitting right in that zone, uh, not even moving, almost watching. Like, is he going to get this? <laughs> Which you don't want to see. Zane Wolf no. in the corner. And whiffs on that. And Potato saves him as he pushes this one back out and high on the wall. Is Nemzi who drops out for Telfu. Is Ariel again. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Telf is going like, up for like, those did shots. Did you ever watch Dumbo the oh. movie? Am I dating myself again? Dumbo? Yes, I have seen Dumbo. Yeah, I have seen that. Right? Oh, yeah. I've been done seeing about everything when I seen a Talfa rig fly. And now I've seen it all. <laughs> <laughs> and, because uh, twice now, he's gone aerial. Yeah, <laughs> that, la that last goal, rough whiff by Nemzi, leaving Zane all alone to just kind of roll that slowly into the Enderboy's net. Yeah, no, it's been great. And I really appreciate Talf going aerial for that. I had that written weeks ago, and I just really needed an opportunity. Oh! So, and Namzi puts this one on, on a misplay there by the uh, Gold Diggers. Comes right, uh, you know, well, I couldn't even say misplay. What do you think? Uh, he just got bumped by James, I believe. Yeah, I think it yeah. was a bump there. Yeah, and that's what James has been doing. Uh, and that's really what won them their, their set against Booster Juice. And I think they're going to need James to just keep doing that. They want to win this. What a great match. Oh. It's one to one in the series, one to one here in game three. And Zane Wolf with a nice chip back into the corner. It was a back pass actually to Potato and a nice one as he almost got a clear, but now here come the Ender Boys again. James is going to get a oh. shot and he whiffs, and that is something you don't see every day. So clip that one. <laughs> so you can mention it later. <laughs> uh, James, James does not make it. He's making Never mind. And he totally redeems himself. That is a goal. Yeah, James just says if you're going to clip that, you might as well pick this one too. <laughs> Since you're at it, pressing the F8 button, keep your finger there, <laughs> yeah. folks. Here you go. <laughs> nice play off the, uh, just reading that bounce off the ceiling, being patient and putting that in, putting his team up. Well, Talf said, don't look at my score, which, of course, is the very first thing I did. But, uh, <laughs> and, oh! oh, oh, I thought he had the save there. Salty comes across. Watch how close this was. Is it James that comes across for this? Yeah. Oh, the double touch, and it's two to two. Yeah, unfortunately, a whiff by, uh, whiff by Talf, a whiff by Nemzi kind of put James in an awkward spot, but still almost able to make the save, even though he was coming from almost midfield. Here we go again. Namzi to the net. Little dipsy, little doodle, can't get it done. This is gonna go safely off into the far side. Salty now chasing this down, out of boost though. And James able to make a play and get to the ball before he could. James in the corner, pops out. Salty's gonna make a nice easy play there. They weren't able to corral that into any sort of shooting uh, corridor whatsoever for the Ender Boys. Nice rotations here we're seeing from Ender Boys. Nemzi and Talf working really well in the back end <laughs> together. And there's Salty finally getting involved in the demo game. And Nemzi, the victim of the, the brunt of that one. 
Yeah, and he, he got another one too. Oh. <laughs> All Area. three, all three gold diggers there. Again, there's Talf again getting up and love, <laughs> love to see it. And he's going to connect to one of these. I'm going to call, he's going to connect to one of these before this night is over. I just feel like he's going to. As this one's going to be once again, played down the line. Nemzi pushing it into the zone. And this is a nice one for James. But all three gold diggers sitting in the net waiting for that one. Call no joy. And a yeah. double whiff, one from each team. This one gets pushed out front and Potato's going to get the push. Nemzi out to Tal for an opportunity, and he just whiffs on it. That would have been a glorious shot. And it's rolling dangerously towards the net. Zane Wolf, Potato, not sure whose assignment it is to clean that up. Who cares? Get the dustpan, get it out of here. Ooh, Tal tri uh, tripling there, doubling, I suppose, with James. Not what you want to see. Need someone to stay back and play defense in case it goes back their end. Tal with an opportunity. Here, there he goes. He gets up, gets reversed on a little bit of a spin, and gets a nice touch. Nemzi. Awkward touch down the 50 line. James pushes it back into the zone and it's cleared by Potato. Talf needs a clear here and he's able to get one. However, it's right out to Zane, who has a shot, but is off on the right-hand side. Another opportunity for Potato. Comes off the wall and plays it into the corner. Can't get this out front as Nemzi's gonna play this off the wall and hopefully out to center. And no, a shot on net. James needs to get up for it and he does and it's a nice save. Oh my goodness with 11 seconds in the game on the line. And then James does not Disappoint. Here we yes, go. Tell. Huge save by Tell. Is this going to be a first overtime? And it is. Is this falls? No, my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and it is overtime. These Zane teams are. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, bud. I was going to say that these teams do not want to go down in this series. Uh, they're putting up quite the fight. As Salty almost had a great uh, goal or right before the. The zero second mark and Telf got a great save to keep Oh the yeah, he did. And how? Oh my goodness. Here we go. 19 seconds into overtime. Game three. Series tied at one. Game tied at two. As they the Salty pushes this into the underboy zone. Can't get a shot. Bad play there by by uh oh that wow, it might have been Zane there who tried to backflip one into the net, but not quite close. And kind of messes up rotations here as Salty's off. Oh, and a nice challenge there by Nemzi who comes off the wall and challenges early, seeing that it had an opportunity and there were no gold diggers back. James, little chip, not much results from it as Nemzi pushes this one towards the net and Salty with a counter and neither one of these are going to come to much. My goodness, a couple opportunities here. Zane gets up to push this towards the net and Darth is able to put it towards the right-hand side. And James ripping into the zone. Can't get it by Salty. Nemzi with a shot. It's wide. And James into the corner. It's cleared by Zane. Back and forth. No one wants to budge an inch in this one. You get the feeling whoever wins this game going to go on to win the next? I I think they have a good chance. This will be pretty deflating. A almost two-minute overtime to lose it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. That's James off the crossbar. Off a gold digger and back in. What? Can what you a believe fly. it? from James from way midfield. He just saw that pass coming from a mile away and Salty just sit there watching as it bounces off his car and into the net. Oh my goodness, as it bounces off the gold digger captain who just, he's probably asking what just happened? I didn't even see it. And they take oh. this one and a stranglehold two to one lead in the series and put gold diggers on the verge of ending their night. If they don't come up with a big game here in game four. Zane, yeah, and he, he's up for it. Look at him in the chat. Five game series. Let's go. <laughs> I, I, I agree, Zane. But Ender boys have got to be feeling good. Uh, go, Gold Diggers, definitely the favorite here. Ender oh, boys yeah. fighting not to go into the wild card spot. If they win this game, it'll put them in a great position for tomorrow night when they end up playing against Frostbite. They could potentially clinch the playoffs by yeah, oh, they sure. could. They could potentially. And, you know, it's funny. We got Frostbite in the in the chat, or at least Sins. You know, Sins is a huge Rocket Lads fan and player herself. Uh, she's just, go, go, Ender Boys, go. <laughs> and she's got to face them tomorrow, too. Uh, well, that's good sportsman. I love it. I love it. Yeah, here, I love to see it. So here we go. Game four, uh, two to one in favor of the Ender Boys. Gold Diggers. 
Got to win this one or go home for the night. Rotator to take the face off versus Talf. That's a 50-50 draw. Salty. Nice shot off the wall. And this one has an opportunity as Nemzi gets a save. A much needed save. Could you imagine how deflated that would be right in the early goings of this one? Yeah, that would that would definitely hurt, especially after eking at that last win. They probably want to get a nice early goal and just get this series put away. Looks like we got a pretty dominant Ender Boys crowd with us here on Twitch. We got anybody going for gold diggers, and that was off the post. James, man, I got to hand it to James. Uh, he has been on fire, and earlier in this tournament, uh, in this season, um, as good as James has played, I just don't feel he's played up to his potential or certainly what his team needs him to do, but you cannot say that tonight, can you? No, I know he definitely not. <laughs> I mean, that last game, that clutch win, not only was the shot his, he had nine shots nine of his team shots in that game wow uh, and i'm sure his team's kind of hoping that he's gonna gonna do that again Ooh. oh 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 the post and roll by james and that is a goal oh, yeah. oh my oh, goodness. my goodness that was oh. great the self pass off the post oh. and in the Just way saying. he reflected that initial hit from nemzi that was oh he's saying goal. gold diggers Come get a taste. <laughs> Come get a taste. You want some? <laughs> yeah, he's just got a little bit for everyone. <laughs> oh, this one gets popped up. Would have been a nice pass, but no one in position to take that. Salty and Zane both back. One getting boost, one retreating for rotation. And we're back in the gold digger zone again. These guys starting to look like game one out of the under boys here. And Talf tries to push this one up. Oh, oh, Zane's all alone. Don't breathe. Just put it in the net. And Salty takes it from Zane. It was his goal. I can't believe it. He's I think so laughing in chat. I think Salty may have been a little worried it was going to go off the post. Um, Maybe. But I don't think it was. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And Salty had a little message for Anth James if he did score a goal tonight. Not Anth James, pardon me, Tal. And he said, hey, Tal, no offense. No offense, bud. <laughs> I don't know. I'm <laughs> passing it on. <laughs> so I'm well, sure Talvin get a kick out of that one. The first, they need to win this game if they want to think about winning the series because they are them. down 2 1. But 1 1 in the Sol game. Yeah, Salty with a nice clear there off the corner up and gets a little bit of an aerial clear. Uh, Nemzi and James working really well, and Talv actually really working really well together in this one. Except here we got another shot. Oh, Tal for the big, save big save to keep this at one to one. What a guy. He is playing his heart out tonight. Nemzi in the corner with, well, I think also with N James. N James tries to get the, the belated demo on Salty as he's shadowing him all the way to the net. That's great. And, oh, and Salty stays with it. Awesome save there. Nemzi back versus Salty. Salty's going to pressure him in the Ender Boy zone. And a great pinch off the wall to get a clear, and he follows it up. Salty manages to rotate his way back out to be offensive on that again. How? Unreal. Salty, yeah, Salty just everywhere, and that's really how his team functions. <laughs> Is there two of them? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh, and Potato just jumps over that one as a nice opportunity off the wall comes to not much. And MZ trying not to lose the ball in his own zone there. Puts it up to Ant James, he pushes it in. Little bit of an awkward one sitting up here and Potato gets a clear. Not not kind of where James wanted that to be redirected, so he didn't really get the opportunity he needed. But back again are the Ender Boys. Nemzi with a shot right there and it's off the post and off the sidebar and that one's out. Oh my goodness. That was so close. That was very close. I'm noticing Ender Boys in the offensive zone, they're being very aggressive, but they're making some very dangerous uh, rotations. A lot of the times they're third man is coming in for the shot while both of the other two are already in the offensive zone. It's it's leaving them in pretty dangerous positions, but they're still managing to keep the game tied at this point. They smell blood, Patty. Yeah. They smell blood. That's why, right? They're, they're, they're sharks now circling for this win. They're like, I, we don't, you know, no one wants to go to a game five, especially not against Salty. You know, he kind of gets up for those kind of things. They got uh, their foot on the, the, the neck right now. They want to finish it, but you're right. You can't do that at the risk of, you know, giving up this uh, advantage. And it's only 1-1 one, one with a minute to go. Now's the time to play smart, wait for them to make a mistake, and bury this thing. And they've certainly been outplaying them, especially in the corners tonight. I find Nemzi's been fantastic in the corners as he puts yeah. another one over to the net, but that one's a nice clear by Gold Diggers. Nemzi back in the zone, can't beat Zane Wolf. Zane Wolf gets the clear. 
Talf all alone going, oh, no, 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 no. But he gets a great clear there, and he comes out. For an aerial, did he touch it? No. no I don't oh, think he, so. <laughs> he did get the one, though, earlier. And James with an opportunity, had a chance for a shot. Talf loops back around to play with him. He's in the center, and James tries to put it over and can't. It's cleared. Nemzi off the wall. Anybody there? Talf's home, ding dong. No, no <laughs> shot. <laughs> and James going to put this one back into the zone. Oh my goodness, 21 seconds left. Who wants it? Somebody take a shot. Shots for days or three for a buck. Oh, That's out right there. Wait, 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 no, no, no. Until... No, no, no. And that... oh, oh, and Potato scores. That is a goal. A little That's... extra for you because that was a great clutch goal with 11 seconds left. Yeah, that's the risk when you're when you see your third man who's back. Uh, Telf actually, honestly, was able to make a great block, um, but Nemzi kind of a little, I think, trying to rush it, afraid of the goal, made a big whiff and uh, left the net wide open. Oh my goodness, this one's gonna get cleared and fall to the ground. So you know what that means, everybody. You know, wait. Yep, everyone with this dream, we got game five. Oh, yeah, working out some new stuff for you tonight. I don't know what just happened there, but yeah. <laughs> We're going yeah. to game five. Yeah, that's my that, beast that mode voice. Dudo. <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh, no, I feel, so, I feel very uncomfortable now. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, slightly and we laughed. <laughs> oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. I really honestly came into this. Um, the way Ender Boys came out in game one, I was going to say, you know, hey, this isn't going to go over game five series. They go down two to one. Uh, Zane pops it up in chat. Game five, let's go. We're going to game five series. And uh, and now he's chirping Telf. See what I said, Telf? <laughs> game five, here we go. Yeah, uh, I love Telf answer. Yeah, you were right. Did, <laughs> the teams, uh, not really the same game that we had seen in our previous matches. Not as many shots. Salty only had two. James only had one after having nine in the previous game. Wow. So, interesting. Not as much offensive, maybe more of a defensive game, a lot of neutral play. Mm -hmm. So much on the line yeah. here, too. Uh, uh, as you had mentioned, <clears throat> they win here. They have an opportunity to avoid that wild card match. See, right now, they're right in that yeah. hunt. Uh, yeah. They lose this one, pretty much, they're in the wild card. Uh, I don't know if they even mathematically uh, can get out of that yeah well to, tomorrow they're playing frostbite who are also uh only have one win currently so right. that's gonna be a if they lose this game then they pretty much need to beat frostbite tomorrow if they want to stay out of that wild card spot not have to play booster juice for a chance in the playoffs right and of course gold diggers uh, sitting on a one and one record so you know they're yeah. hoping to improve here they, if you fall to one to two then they, you might as well talk about them being in that position uh, yeah. you know for a wild card spot as well so this this match uh, has a lot riding on it you don't want to get in that wild card match uh, you, you don't want to play for a chance to go to the show you want to go to the show you got to punch your ticket and you do it here tonight right now yeah. game five here we go salty with an, an open shot and james can't get back and the captain's gonna take this one to nothing i honestly wish i had kept track of every goal that has happened because of way too aggressive defensive rotations uh, and that's another one. Many, many just goals where there's no, no one from Ender Boys back in net and they just roll it into the empty net. This happens over and over and over again tonight. We got that. I love the, the, the diggers. We got Zane's, Zane's folks going, let's go diggers. We got diggers. We got <laughs> dishers now. Uh, the Diana dish. That's, they liked that name, by the way. They're, they're going with it. Ooh. Here we go. Zane Wolf ripping up the right hand side. And James kind of gives him a hand says, you know, you're going my way, right? <laughs> and Salty gets a clear on this one. This one's going to drop to half. Talf. Oh, he's going to go back for some boost. I'm going to let James take this in. He does. And MC with a chance in Potato. Or Potato. Darth Potato gets a clear <laughs> there. Why do they do these things to me? Too many potato-based uh, Yeah, You know, uh, what are with potatoes? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. They're not that impressive. They're good. <laughs> Oh, this one's a nice little, uh, yeah, yeah, they're, I don't know, candied yams, pretty delicious. We have a debate with our producer right now about what's better, potatoes or yams. Can we get that one in the Tritz chat? Yams or potatoes? Are you a yam man? <laughs> <laughs> potatoes. I'll take yams with a nice spicy mayo. Those what's are delicious. Dangerous. Big Dave, just, oh my goodness! And a whiff, I couldn't tell. Did you catch who missed that one, Patty? Uh, I believe it was uh, Darcy. I believe it was Zane. <laughs> Potato. 100% of the time, says, yeah. uh, it says Dax, Josh is potato too versatile. You got to go potato. Liquid's a yam guy. I'm with you, yeah. I'm with you, team yam. 
That's our that's our uh, division season four, you know. Yam potato. <laughs> that's the <laughs> yeah, that's not division. official. That's not official, yeah. And it's James back. Trying to look for some more blood here as he gets kind of outworked though. In that gold digger corner, and Salty's gonna push us down the field. And James rotated back. It's nice. Nemzi with a good push. Oh my goodness. If he would have got that, he just had one to beat and Talf with a very clutch there. And he pushed that out to the front. Scored a nice goal that way earlier tonight. We've seen a self goal pass. Couldn't get it on this one. James needs to turn around, take a shot here, and he does. And it's one to one. The captain evening it up. Very nice. Very aggressive once again by Ender Boys. All three Ender Boys in the offensive zone, but they're able to make it work as Telf takes a little bit of a page out of James's book, goes for the demo, leaving James with a wide open net. Nice play by the team all around. And this game five is not disappointing. The series has been dead even. The game is dead even at the halfway mark. What more could you ask for? This is Rocket Lads at its best. We love it. MZ into the corner, doubling up with James a little bit though. But well, all's well that ends well as they clear the zone out into the diggers. Potato. Nice little chip shot over there, but James is able to get way up an aerial for a good clear. Both these teams kind of thinking a little bit defensively right now. Going to want to take what they're given. Uh, just a moment ago, as you said, they were creating opportunities. Almost seemed like in an instant there, they looked at the clock and went two minutes left. Uh, let's be careful. Someone's got to take a shot here, though. Got to score. You want to you got to risk it to get the biscuit. Big fan of that mentality. Let's go. Salty off the wall. Can track this one himself. Oh, nobody in the center to take that shot. As this one gets played back out to Nemzi. He's got one guy to beat, and he gets demo Ooh. with a great demo by Potato there. Does he save a goal there? I think so, and that's a, a little bit of an unfortunate spot where uh, being in comms really could have helped them. I don't think Nemzi had any way of knowing that uh, Patat had his number there. No, I know. I mean, he would have heard the engine when it was too late. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Boom. Oh, and a shot by the Gold Diggers. Almost took it two to one here. And a nice little clear there by the Ender Yams as they've now been coined in Twitch. <laughs> the oh, Ender my. Yams. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, Liquid. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, my goodness. This is a great clue. Uh. <laughs> and she takes this up, up the left hand side. And he's on the wrong side of the ball here. I don't know sure he's trying to block out I Salty, think he I think. He's trying to zone yeah. him out, right? Yeah. Yeah, he was trying to block out Salty, make sure that maybe he'd get a favorable 50 out of it. Oh, Salty, very off smart. the ceiling. This is going to drop favorable. And Salty with a pinch clear. Nemzi needs to make this play and does. Off the wall. No, James is in the corner. Can't make that play. Talf jumps up. Jumps oh, a and he too early. wins that challenge. A little early, but at least it, well, it does come back the other way now. Great defensive rotations from both. Look at the pressure. We finally see a game where the ball is up off the ground. Rarely has it been dribbled on, you know, down on the turf much. This is what we want to see. 28 seconds left. Is this is this game five going to overtime? Oh my goodness. Can it be? I hope so. I they hope so. It. They wanted it with the Norsemen last night. The Norsemen wouldn't uh, wouldn't oblige them. What a block by Nims. Oh my goodness, James! Oh, with a nice save there. Hold your breath. This is not over. Salty up in the corner. Seven seconds left. It's back into the Ender Boy zone. Salty gonna track it down. It goes for the block and he can't get it. Zane Wolf's uh, potato have an opportunity for a shot. Salty, oh no! It hits the turf and we are going to overtime. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Tal versus potato. Ender Tal Boys wins are sitting on a. They are just holding onto this game by a string, a thread. Oh! My God. oh. oh. <laughs> I feel for Talf. He made a, just an unbelievable stop there. Break it down for us, bud. Oh, I can't even watch it. Talf just, he made a great save, but there was no one in a great position. James really couldn't touch that ball without going in the net. And honestly, if you take a look at the shots, we're looking at 7-2. to two. Wow. Uh, The goal, the score might be 2-1, but this was Gold Digger's game to lose, and they weren't about to do it. Uh, they yeah, take no. Game 5, and... They get that win that, honestly, I think most people were expecting to get, but I don't think many people were expecting Game 5. Ender Boys, even though they lost, playing incredibly. Uh, and their best game yet, by far, for sure. Oh, for sure. And I'm glad you brought up the scoreboard. I wouldn't have believed it if you told me they only put up two shots in this game. Um, yeah. 
they the pressure was insane and and you know they had they had good awareness great plays off the wall both teams back and forth great in the neutral zone with some high high clears i, w- I would have thought this had a, a little bit more ring of uh, of even as a parody to it but no like they got outshot seven to two obviously yeah. ender boys created chances you know we had an opportunity to be hyped about them but obviously not quality chances that resulted in in quality shots and <clears throat> yeah. boy did this go back and forth all night though didn't it yeah, it did. It did. In that last game, uh, I, w- I wish we could see how many clears Salty had because Ender Boys yeah. really kept centering the ball, but Salty was always there to get it away from the shooter, making sure that there was no scoring chance to be had there. Salty basically just playing out of his mind defensively, oh. offensively, in the neutral. He could score, He you know, take a shot, and he's already back in net to make the save five seconds later. He was everywhere. Uh, that his team needed him to be. And that's really a key reason why they were able to get the win tonight. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, we didn't see that in game one. So we really needed Salty to wake up, and he did. Uh, puts his team on his back and gets this win. You know, not the Boys was very much in this all the way, too, which is great. We saw a similar game last night. Um, you know, well, two games last night, just close matches. And that's what's really nice to see both Crackle and Rocket League or rocket divisions and all of these teams uh you know they're able to take it to game five even and some of the sweeps are seeing real close matches another one here tonight uh, this could have went either way so you know really underlines that getting those small things done on with your team can make huge differences um yeah could have been an yeah. underboy win tonight it wasn't three to so two close. is the final score in favor of uh gold diggers Ender boys we don't know when gold diggers next match is i don't believe oh tomorrow night gold is diggers are playing they? tomorrow Oh, okay. So we got frostbite on a doubleheader against both of these teams tomorrow night. That's interesting. So really then, if that's the case, and correct me if I'm wrong, both Patty and, and uh, Jakutakon back in production, we should pretty much know who's playing our wildcard match at the end of tomorrow night? Pretty oh, much. No? At, at the end of tomorrow night, Frostbite will have played five of their six games. So they'll just be missing. Enderboys, Enderboys will be done. Be yeah, yeah, Gold Digger is right now sitting at uh, they're two wow. and one right now, so they're halfway done there around Robin. Uh, yeah. So Ender Boys could play Frostbite, yeah, to determine who plays in the wild card match. Then yeah, we know that Booster Juice hundred percent is is going to be in there. I don't know if Booster Juice is one hundred percent in there. Are they mathematically locked? They are, uh, they locked are in the because card position. Right. Both Ender Boys and Frostbite have a win, and one of them has to lose tomorrow. So. Or one of them has right, to win tomorrow, right. I should say. So they. So will, basically, they... what we're saying is, don't miss out tomorrow. You want to get yeah. back here to your favorite Twitch channel, that is Rocket Lads. We want to thank you for being here tonight. For everyone who had an opportunity to come out on this long weekend and watch some Rocket League, some Rocket Lads, your favorite Rocket League uh, Twitch stream. We love that you guys are here. Thanks to everyone for watching and those who uh, who may be subbed. I don't think no new sub tonight, but we had lots of our favorites back and lots of guys. That, and girls coming out to watch some amazing Rocket Lads action. Thanks to both of these teams, our production staff, and of course, you, Patty, who were once again awesome, and it was great to be in the booth with you. Yeah, had a great time. Hope we can do it again sometime soon. Yeah, I hope so. Anyway, that's it for us here at Rocket Lads. That's Patty. I'm Phoenix. We thank you from the whole production team and everything. This is us. We're out. <laughs>